Hi, I'm Josh Ozerski of eHow.com. I have before me now the makings of the most profoundly unhealthy meat sauce ever created by the hand of man. It's so meat centric that like it hardly even matters how you cut the onions or how you cut the garlics, whatever. It all ends up swimming in a sea of meat. And uh, that's a condition that I myself personally aspire to. I do a quick coarse cut of these garlics. So you add some nice olive oil there. Let me throw my garlics in there. The onions. I get this moving here. You want the onions to start giving off the water a little bit. So you put some salt. Now here's the secret. In any meat sauce that you're going to put five pounds of, of hamburger into, it's important to start off with lots of sliced up pepperoni. What's good is, see this pepperoni is giving up its orange grease? Like this I'm sure is a substance you're familiar with. It's the magic elixir which enlivens the flavor of pepperoni pizzas around the country. Now, I know that it seems excessive to be making five pounds of hamburger and also putting in pepperoni, which is why I'm adding Italian sausage too. So I take a couple of sausages and I take them out of their casing like this. Bing, this is releasing its grease, it's cooking up the onions and the garlic. The essence of this sauce is that it's like, it's very atavistic and barbaric. This is like, a, a sauce like that Conan the Barbarian would make, or not even Conan, like Crom would make this, or Rexor. Normally you would never salt hamburger except on the outside because salt tends to draw out the, you know, the juice out of meat. But the fact is, there's so much grease in here and so much hamburger that putting on some salt will just add a little bit of, uh, a little bit of action to it. And now, that I have all this meat in here, I'm jacking up the temp. Because essentially, I'm not really looking to cook this. I'm just looking to get it to lose its raw color. Just so happens that I have some olive oil here that has been steeping with garlic and pepperoncinos. Now it's just lying around, but you know what? Why don't I just add it in? Because I wanted more garlic and I could use a little more heat. And it could always be greasier. This is a nice tip. I take in a bottle of beer. What's gonna happen is that the alcohol is gonna cook out of the beer and it's not gonna really contribute that much flavor, but uh, as the alcohol cooks at high heat with that meat, it's basically gonna dissolve the proteins and break it down so you're gonna get like this kind of like wonderful kind of like silky, like gelatinous, oleaginous quality. And since I'm cooking with liquid, I'm going to throw in a couple of bay leaves. You could see how this is becoming kind of a cohesive substance. So it's almost ready for the tomatoes. And in fact, the fat is what it's all about. The fat is the meat, and the meat is the vegetable. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Now I got some crushed tomatoes. This happens to be Las Cuisita brand, but it could be one of 40 other brands that are at your supermarket. Look at this. Now I want a little bit of heat in it too, so I'm gonna put in some pepperoncinos like this. It's a big thing, so maybe I'll do a little more. And then more salt, you always need a little more salt. Oh my God. I just had a bite of it. It had pepperoni in it, it had sausage in it, it had beef in it, it had grease in it, it had beer in it. I mean, it had like all the five food groups. So let's put it aside to cook low for a while and then we'll come back to it. Mix that in good. It's all mixing in together. Working, 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 working. Now I'm going to mount the sauce. And that is going to give a nice, thicky, sticky quality to it. What would bind it together better, more, than some nice pecorino? I'm going to take some of this meat sauce here. I'm going to spoon it on. Right in the middle. And there you have it. I'm Josh Ozerski. Thanks for watching and check me out again on ehow.com.